So this evening I'm in uh, Finnegatar, uh, Rhydde again. Uh, this evening I was I had a composition in mind uh, just back there. Uh, there's a couple of boats uh, just by the lake. I took an image. I don't know, going back three or four years ago when I was here last. Um, I've got a sunset shot for that in mind. Uh, I'm thinking big here, but the sun goes down over here. But when it goes behind the mountain, it gets dark over here. But there is a gap in the valley. So what I'm hoping for last minute is for the light just to gush through while I get the shot of the boats there and the, the uh, back there lit up. That's the idea, that's what I came here for. Whether it works or not, uh, we'll see. But in the meantime, I'm gonna head over here uh, there's a group of trees over here I also shot uh, a few years ago. It just looks really, really nice with the uh, Snowden in the background. And we're going to go up the hill there. Uh, there's not three trees on the top of the hill there. See if we can make a composition out of them. So, yeah, and that's what we're going to do this evening in Ginnacada. been running around uh, grabbing these compositions because the light keeps dipping in and out but I managed to capture with some light now right in front of me I've got this beautiful tree um, and uh, what I've wanted to capture in this shot I put the tree right on the right of the flip frame um, just below here you can see the pathway leading back to the car park the farmyard in the background and uh, Moyle Alia right in the back over there and some beautiful light golden light spilling on the uh, fields in the background and this beautiful stone wall here so I've taken, taken a nice wide shot of that um, I think I've also taken one to try and get Snowden in the shot and I've also come to the side here because uh, I wanted to try and get the side of the wall looking at that and a bit of uh, the lake in Gadar in the shot and that farmyard still in the background there. So I think that'll make a nice shot. It looks good anyway. Beautiful trees. So then I uh, ran to my next one. So in this shot, Got nice side light on the tree here. Beautiful wall leading up to it. And uh, so over here, I took a shot of this one. Uh, beautiful wall leading up to it. Nicely lit on the tree back by the sun and uh, the mountain over there on the uh, left of the frame, which is called, I had it, I knew what it was earlier on. Now I just keep forgetting names all the time. 
Um, I can't remember the bloody name of it. So yeah, so I've managed to get that in a the shot. There's some beautiful uh, trees in the mid-ground over there. I'm out of breath because I've been running around trying to get these shots. And uh, I've also taken another shot using the wall and the two trees here. Nice wide shot with the garn. Not garn, it's not the garn. Um, it'll come to me in a minute. With the mountain peak there on the... Uh, left of the frame so i don't know i've got about three four maybe five shots of these trees different angles uh yeah god it's beautiful up here in the evening nice and peaceful just how i like it so the sun's dipping behind the mountain so uh timed it just on time as usual so right now i'm gonna head back down the hill on the way up um I took a two, I don't know, two or three shots. Um, I took one of the old uh, broken down derelict building in the bottom there. It was nice to have that and the left of the frame and the view. And there was these two humongous pile of rocks. And what I did with that is that I placed the peak of that mountain in between the middle of that rocks. Uh, so that looked quite interesting. You'd have seen them already if they worked anyway, so. Right then, so what I'm going to do now is head back down. I'm going to go to where these unusual trees are in the bottom and uh, try and get an image there. And then the last shot will be with the boats over there. Um, I'm trying that more for sunset, so hopefully that'll work out somehow. So all right, uh, I'm going to put these images up now.
So these trees look really good, but very difficult to uh, try and single them out because uh, there's another tree not too far behind it or beside it. And uh, But what I've tried to do, I've got the single one right in front of me here. I uh, done a vertical shot on that with uh, Snowden just above it. Um, there's no light coming from the on these trees but because the background's lit uh they have vionette well with the background so the blendings works well i think so yeah um this place is really boggy i'm sure it's uh, one big swamp i bet you can't even come here in winter i mean it's boggy now and it's been dry for a short while do you know what i mean um plus i've been over there there's another group of trees here, about four or five. I've got a nice wide shot there with the uh, with the background of Snowden and uh, it's lit up nicely in the background there. So hopefully you've got a couple of shots over here. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna head back to uh, get the shot I came here for with the boats by the lake uh, when I was coming here. Unfortunately, the boat is not in the position I want it to be, but never mind, I'll uh, we'll try and work something out. So I've got a while to wait anyway, so I'll head over there, have a drink and a sausage roll. I do like my sausage rolls. I bought a pack of three. I do like sausage rolls a lot. So we'll have a sausage roll and a bit of LucasAid to get some energy and uh, set up for the final shot tonight. And in the meantime, here are the images. So I was just thinking now about staying for a sunset and then I thought, well, I don't think the sun's going to come out and light this up. I'll hang on just in case it does, but I've taken images in the meantime. Um, I mean, I've got three boats here uh, and they look really nice. Um, I should have bought my uh, tripod higher one. I should have bought my uh, longer tripod, but these look just so I can look down. But the light in the background is just beautiful. Um, so yeah, you've got really greenish grass over here. Uh, this sandy colour, golden sort of colour, really nice. And uh, I've got these three boats in the uh, foreground. Um, I just don't know how low the sun is at the moment. I'll hang on just in case it comes out and I get a light on these, but... It doesn't matter anyway because I've got enough light on the background. Wish I had more clouds in the sky, but they are sort of really light whiskey coloured. Uh, so I'm not going to get any low cloud tonight that's going to catch colour. So uh, yeah. So what I'm going to do here now, I'm going to try and find uh, some compositions. Uh, pick them out. I think I'll... Uh, that was the name of the mountain peak, Aran. Araran. For some reason I had that Aval on my mind and I knew it wasn't that one. So I'm looking here now, uh, looking down on this boat, thinking this would be nice because it just leads up to the Aran there and there's a nice reflection of light on the lake there. Nice green grass here. So uh, I'll do a nice wide one and uh, a vertical one here leading up to an Aran.
So yeah, I've taken a few shots over here. Uh, got a shot of the three of them. With uh, See, I've forgotten the name of the mountain peak. Again, Aran. With the Aran over there in the background. And uh, Snowden over here. I've done a vertical shot here with this um, boat at the, right in the forward of the frame and uh, Aaron in the back of it. And I tried one here with this other boat on the side here with a chain. Not sure what's, uh, what that's going to be like. Um, I've also got these three sticks which uh, caught my eye. I should have bought me wellies. I could have gone in there then and got the boat in the background. But might work, might not work. So I think I'm going to leave it there for today. Uh, I've enjoyed this evening. Um, I think I've got some good photos, I hope. Um, the trees in the background where I was, oh, it was nice up there. It was really nice. So yeah, uh, been a good evening. Uh, plenty of drone footage, no crashes tonight, which is good. Um, yeah, I've been looking at Paul Compton's uh, pictures today. Of uh, He's arrived at the Faroe Islands where I'm supposed to be. and. Um, quite gutted really that I'm not there but there you go um, I had to pull out because I wouldn't take the jab uh, my personal choice I think I was right uh, it doesn't work anyway people still get ill so yeah so there you go it is what it is uh, hopefully I'll get there one day I'm sure I will so um, I'm gonna call it a day from right there uh, hope you enjoyed the vlog please do subscribe and uh, until next time Thanks for watching. Bye. This August, for the first time, I will be running a group workshop at the Dorothea Quarry in the Nanche Valley. The maximum size of the group will be four people only on this workshop, and we will spend a day visiting the quarry, looking at the old chapel, the old ruins, and some old quarry buildings with a beautiful, fantastic backdrop of the Nanche Valley. So if you're interested in booking this workshop in August, please inbox me with your details and I'll see you in August. <laughs>